Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold for solve the Windows 10 Update Error 0x8007042 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, just off on the Start button one time. Type in Services. Best match to come back with Services or View Local Services. I would suggest selecting the Services right above Desktop App, and then just off on it one time to open it up. Once you're in services here, you want to scroll down to the Windows Update Service. Near the bottom, double click on it. Service status should be running. If it's not, you want to start it, and startup type should be set to automatic. Now you want to left click on the Log On tab, and you want to make sure Local System Account is selected here, and left click on Apply and OK. And you want to do the same thing for two other services here. So the next one you want to do Windows Defender Firewall. So go ahead, double click on that. Make sure that's automatic as well. And close out of here. And then you also want to check the DCOM Server Process Launcher. Right here, double click. Again, make sure it's automatic. If it's not, it should not be grayed out and would let you switch it over to automatic. Go ahead then and try and run the Windows updates and hopefully that's resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing an issue here, you can go ahead and open up the Start menu, type in Troubleshoot. One of the best matches should come back with Troubleshoot settings. You want to go ahead and left click on that one time. Go ahead underneath Get Up and Running and left click on where it says Windows Update and resolve problems that prevent you from updating Windows. And then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. And hopefully at this point I'd be able to find something. I've already ran this pretty recently, so I was able to fix an issue I had. Click on close. We we'll suggest restarting your computer and then check for updates again, and then hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.